Welcome back, everyone. Panic in paradise. Hawaii sends a terrifying false alarm about a ballistic missile heading for the state. For 38 minutes, residents and tourists alike thought they were under attack. CBS News correspondent Laura Podesta has more now on how this could have happened. For cover or sheltered in place after receiving a false alarm that a ballistic missile was headed toward the island Saturday morning. I was just sleeping. So my friend just wake me up. He said, "Hey, let's go. That's a bomb coming to Hawaii." I didn't talk it serious, but you know, I just started running. Jim Jagger is a meteorologist from the CBS station in Memphis, on vacation in Kauai, huddled with his family in a closet. So we were uh, trying to figure out the best thing to do and just using tornado. Uh, safety rules. I, I know you go down into a place where there's no window, a small room, and bunker down. 38 minutes after the warning went out, a second alert said it was a false alarm and no missile was incoming. Messages flashed on highway signs telling drivers there was no danger. Hawaii's governor said human error caused this mistake. It was uh, a procedure uh, that occurs at the change of shift where they go through to make sure that um, the system is working and uh, an employee pushed the wrong button. The chairman of the FCC tweeted the agency is launching a full investigation into the false emergency alert that was sent to residents of Hawaii. This incident comes as tension remains high between the U.S. and North Korea. North Korean President Kim Jong-un claims to have ballistic missiles capable of reaching Hawaii and the continental U.S. Laura Podesta for CBS3 Eyewitness News.